now. So hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I got some great stuff to cover on this video to give you some solid, solid tips. Also some tricks and hacks on how to make sure that you get that loan that you want. First, like I've talked about on this channel, make sure you go after those grants. I've done a lot of grant videos. Granted, that money is absolutely free. You don't have to pay it back. You apply for it, tell a great story, ask for it, tell them why you need it and why you're disadvantaged and how you're gonna use it. And man, you can get free money. It is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Don't miss out on that. And secondly, that EIDL money, if you're in any kind of disaster area, which there are all around the country disaster areas, make sure you look for that money because it's the cheapest money first and the easiest to get. So first is grant money. Second is the EIDL money. Next, you're gonna go and try and get a seller to finance your business or partner with a relative. If you can't and now you're looking for a business loan, well, I, that's why you come to this channel because you know you're gonna get it from an expert, someone who's started companies, bought companies, and underwrites loans. So we're gonna get into a lot of great stuff in this video, five things that you need to know in order to get a loan so you can start working on it, apply for it, or know what you're doing when you go in. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. I'm an underwriter, I've bought 17 companies, and I wanna buy companies with you good companies there's going to be so many opportunities while the economy kind of softens and people want to get out of their businesses we can buy those businesses together on this channel check me out on instagram linkedin also on um, my email so let's get together let's buy some businesses together i'll put the funding together i just need you to know what you're doing and a business that is worth doing worth buying so connect with me if that's your interest if you just want to get a loan to start a business well this video is for you. So let's dive into that. Oh, by the way, make sure you grab your five, your, actually it's 12 now as of yesterday. 12 free stocks down below, hit the link. Also I have a real estate program there, it's incredible. And book a call with my guy for the live event. If you don't see any spots, it's because we're completely booked up on phone calls, but we'll get to you. Just keep looking for a spot in the calendar. So how do you qualify for these loans, these small business loans? and and what are the biggest five things you need to be focused on? I'm gonna cover that because you need to know that. First of all, the five basics is important, right? And make sure you stay tuned to this channel for personal finance, all things related to money, building business credit, credit cards, all kinds of stuff. So are you struggling to get that, your hands on an SBA loan or a regular loan, or maybe you just don't know where to start? I'm gonna go over the five ways to qualify for a small business loan and the five basic pillars on top. Plus, I'm gonna throw in a couple of bonuses at the end. You know, I haven't eaten in two days. I'll tell you about that at the end. First, strengthen both your business and personal credit. Business, yeah, you need to open up a business, business account with either uh, Dun & Bradstreet or Experian. I cover that on my channel. If you look at business credit lines, you could do it in as little as three days. So start your business credit if you haven't done that. Also, your personal credit is important. If you don't have great personal credit, you, uh, as a hack, you probably need a partner that has good credit. Your personal credit score is often used by lenders to gauge the capacity of repayment for getting loans paid back, credit cards and do, credit card dues, and also those mortgages, maybe even a credit line or a car loan. So it's important that you're paying them. If you're not, this is a cheat code, you can self-report your utility bills, but make sure you pay your utility bills on time, but you can self-report them and that will help kick your credit score up. I'll also tell you at the end of the video um, how you can quickly, rapid rescore your credit. So a good personal credit score is so important and that you make those timely payments, that you call your creditors and work stuff out. It's a strong indicator of your ability to pay debt and how you work with lenders. It's called your credibility. Are you credible? And pays a big factor in helping lenders decide or not to fund your venture. In addition to personal credit though, well-established businesses also boost, boost the credit score. So the business credit score is super important. Uh, most of the time when I'm doing a deal, the business credit's more important than the guy's personal or gal's personal credit score. Uh, so agencies like Equifax, Experian, and Dun & Bradstreet are to the few that we use to figure out if a business is paying their bills. So we assume if the business is paying the bills, well, you'll, it'll keep paying their bills. So, and then we just wanna match it up with somebody that actually pays their personal bills. Banks are scared. They're afraid to not get paid. 
They don't want to own your business. They don't want to run your business. Be ensured, though, transparency and accountability in all your business transactions. You can then you be eligible for like an SBA loan, which is the holy grail backed by the government. And so the cheapest money, the best money ever. And really, it's almost the same requirements as a regular loan. That's why I push SBA so badly is because it's the basics. If a loan works or it doesn't work, it doesn't matter if it's SBA or not. Either you have the ability to repay it or the collaterals, uh, you can recover it and sell it and get the money back to pay the loan or you can't. So, and the SBA is willing to go a lot further than regular conventional banks because the SBA guarantees it, right? Secondly, beware of lender criteria. Most lenders in the market look to gauge business credit scores, a number of operations that you're doing and how well the revenue and profits before they agree to lend you money. Does it have cash flow? And when all that cash flow goes through the business, is there something left over? Because if there's not, that would be scary to lend to even for you. To secure a small business loan online from a government lender, you must meet the norms and not have defaulted on the payments in the past. And your business model needs to be set a standard specific by the agency. So you might want to get some samples of business plans. I would say get three samples of business plans in whatever business you're doing, they're available. And then, you know, mix and master those to make it your own. To be eligible for a loan though, from the bank institution, good credit scores, both personal and business, revenue, money going in, cash flow and profit left over and you have the right documentation. They want to see everything. They want to see transparency. Don't hide nothing. And thirdly, keep finance and legal documents handy. To, to secure funding, you have to keep a list of documents handy, including your personal and business income, tax returns, at least two years. They want to know that you are predictable. Now, bank statements and proof of address where you live, they want to make sure you live somewhere. A residence, um, residential address proof, like a utility bill, that kind of stuff. An AAPHAR card, a business or commercial licenses that you hold, and maybe articles of incorporation in that business license. Now, fourth, create a business plan. To secure a small business loan online, every potential lender in the market will require that you furnish an ironclad business plan to gauge how to aim to utilize the money to grow your business and how you will repay the loan. If we're gonna give you this money, how will you pay us back? What is your plan? What do you plan to offer as far as a service, as far as a product and that people want and that they actually pay for and that you'll actually end up with a profit? That competition hasn't killed the market. That is important and it's pretty simple. I can do a, a plan on a few pages. So I start out with a one page plan which I wrote a whole business course on it. And then also after that, several pages. A strong business plan must necessarily include the description of the company's mission, product services, descriptions, information pertaining to senior management, and an in-depth analyst, uh, analyst analyzing basically the business, plans pertaining to you know, the plant or the facility, whatever it is that you're doing, and a SWOT. What are the strengths and weaknesses, opportunities, and what are the threats? that are coming to your business. And what's your marketing strategy? How do you plan to tell people about it? And finally, you wish to secure a small business loan online in your legal? Hit the link down below. There's a loan link. You can actually apply in 15 minutes. We don't even pull your personal credit. But it, when you apply for that loan, it's important if you're getting a business loan that you have some collateral, something that you're saying, look, this is what I wanna buy. This is what the money's going for. Usually that's in the form of real estate, a plant to do something, inventory that you need or machinery required for the business. A requirement of collateral is made so that in case you default on the loan, let's say it happens, you, they can recover the, that collateral from the business and they could sell it off and pay back most of the loan. Because other than that, the loan, everything above that collateral is not secured, which is why SBA is a good way to go. The other thing about uh, raising your credit score fast, 
they have rapid rescoring, where you go in and you challenge some of your credit and you rapid rescore your credit. We do this oftentimes because it can happen in less than 30 days. If you should pull your credit, there are a lot of inaccuracies typically on credit and challenge it, call, work out the details because if they misreport it, they could be liable for financial damages and have to pay you for misreporting it. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I hope this helps. Take care. Oh, and the reason why I haven't eaten is I'm going in for a colonoscopy. Can you believe that? Today, 51. Take care. Love you.